Hi guys, this is our Life Pack 20 that is in our laboratory. Um, and we are in the company of our sim man here, and we're going to show you how to operate the defibrillator. First of all, um, you've got to connect the cables, and um, there are two cables that have to be connected. Uh, one set of them goes to the ECG points, and they are labeled left arm, left leg, and right arm. And then you'll see there are another set of cables that are white and red. Where are we at? Wherever it went there, there it is. Those are like the pads that you would put on your patient out in the hospital. But because we've got an electronic mannequin here and he needs some specialized care, we've got some special adapters that are going to be our pads for use for defibrillation or cardioversion or pacing in this case. So back to our monitor here so you have some sort of idea of what, how to operate this. First of all, you've got to turn it on. Just push the green button and it's going to tell you what to do. Okay. It, notice it has an AED mode and it also has a lead mode. You can select either one. Right now we are in the lead mode. We'd like to say, ooh, that's a pretty ugly rhythm. This patient is in VTAC. First thing we always want to find out is does our patient have a pulse or not? This patient does have a pulse. Okay, what are his vital signs? Well, he's got a blood pressure of 120 over 80 right at the moment, and he's having a little bit of chest pain. But he's sitting up and talking to us and just telling us that he's got a fluttering in his chest. So we want to immediately put some O2 on this guy, and we want to go to work on this rhythm. So let's go ahead and we want to um, uh, make sure if he's stable or unstable and all of a sudden he tells us oh my gosh I've got this crushing chest pain and you check his blood pressure and his blood pressure is 85 over 40 it has gone down and he is symptomatic so we now need to cardiovert this patient because he is unstable to, to cardiovert, what we are going to do is we're going to hit the energy selection button and we're also going to hit the sync button. When you note, when you hit the sync button, you get a little triangle like marker that's going to appear on the monitor. Should be on your um, R wave. And then we're going to select the energy joules, and depending on the pattern of the ECG pattern, um, you we'll select whatever energy is appropriate for that particular um, rhythm. So, with cardioversion, cardioversion is only done when you have a pulse, okay? Cardioversion selection, the energy you should select and cardiovert at is usually much lower than when you defibrillate. So, we have a wide rhythm and we're going to go to 100 in this instance. Now, because we don't want to uh, accidentally shock anybody in here in the lab. For safety purposes, we're going to go ahead and decrease um, the joules to 10 or below. Okay, now we need to charge. Whoops, got to charge. There we go. For the person that's running the defibrillator, it's your job to make sure that the scene is safe. So you need to clearly announce one, I'm clear. Two, you're clear. Three, everybody clear. Check to make sure that the bed is clear and no one's touching it. Once you've assured that, go ahead and hit the red button to dispense the energy. And see, it tells you the energy's de de delivered. Now, we would hope that perhaps that would convert our patient back to normal sinus rhythm, but in this case it didn't. So then we would go ahead and follow the algorithm, go up on our jewels and do it again. So, let's just run through it one more time. It didn't convert, so we're going to go ahead and synchronize cardiovert again. We still have a pulse. Okay, we've hit the sync button. We're going to select our energy. Okay, we're going to go up to 150 this time. Okay, and actually we're going to turn it back down again. Okay, charge. One, I'm clear. Two, you're clear. Three, everybody clear. Okay. Shocking. Whoops. Okay. So we just cardioverted. And I said the word shock. We sometimes use those intermittently, but this is, they are different things. So 
you just cardioverted because you have a pulse. We'd want to check our patient at this point to make sure he still had a pulse. If he did not have a pulse, then we would defibrillate. So we'll show you how to do that. It's actually simpler. To defibrillate, we just go ahead and we now know our patient does not have a pulse. We're going to select the energy. Okay, and for defibrillation, if we don't know what kind of uh, energy our defibrillator takes, we're going to go to start at 200 joules. And we're going to charge. We're again, one on clear. Two, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. You can still decrease it. Okay. One, I'm clear. Two, you're clear. Three, everybody clear. Okay. So that is defibrillation. Okay. All right. Now, let's...